Hi everyone, it's Russell Mortlock here, and I'm going to share exactly some of the principles that I've learned from Warren Buffett on keeping your money safe during uncertain times. We've gone through a crazy period. We had COVID, and now all of a sudden we have Russia bombing Ukraine. What the heck's going on in the world? And where should you put your money? And in this video, I'm going to share the simple tactics that you can do to allow your family to still get ahead in uncertain times. Okay, principle number one, do you understand the business? Early on into my investment journey, I started investing in some junior stocks, the classic marijuana industry that was supposed to take off to the moon when it was supposed to get legalized. I didn't understand exactly what was supposed to go into this business, pretty much everything that goes into producing, manufacturing, distributing marijuana. Lo and behold, a couple of years later, I lost every cent that I ever put into that. If I would have known the leading indicators of understanding this business, I would have been able to pull up my money before it hits zero. Principle number two is durability and having a competitive advantage. So a great example of this is Walmart. Not only are they going to make money in no matter what period of time we're in the economy going up or down, people are still going to be coming to their retail store to buy their goods and services. And then with having a competitive advantage, there's no bigger retailer than Walmart out there. So look for investments that dominate the market and you're going to have success no matter what's going on in the world. Principle number three is you want to invest in a company that's going to have integrity and a solid management. This one's going to be a little bit tricky for the average consumer to find out this information because you're not going to have that insider note on what people are doing on the board of directors and actually the internal workings of these companies. But like a red flag for me would be like a company like Boeing when they're having the whole 737 MAX scandal going on and their management and CEO were deflecting it, not taking ownership. And then ultimately this caused their company to collapse and their stock to go down immensely. So this would be some of the red flags that the average consumer could actually pick on before putting an investment. So principle number four is having a high margin of safety. So this is another one that's going to be a little bit tricky and difficult for the average consumer to identify what type of margin and safety that they need to have in order to pursue with an investment. So my example is BMO. So one of my biggest holdings is when I picked them up at $64 a share, I figured that they had were worth per share around $86. So I had an over 20% margin of safety that I factored into this investment that I was comfortable taking on knowing that, hey, the upside of them is probably gonna be at least 20%. Now they're trading at like around $152. No, that doesn't make me a genius saying that I was predicting that they were going to go up that high. I just knew that there was at least a 20% margin of safety when I purchased them. And that was something that I was comfortable with. But this goes on to your risk tolerance and what you want to take on. And for anyone who has some sort of insider or things that they use to evaluate stocks, drop it in the comments below. Would love to capture some more knowledge myself. on. Those are the four principles that Warren Buffett shares that you need to consider when you're looking to make an investment, and especially moving ahead. Like there's so much uncertainty. You need to ask these questions to yourself before actually making a trade or giving your money to someone. I don't want to see people lose money like I have. And that's the whole idea of investing is to get you ahead and not lose money. And for everyone that's stuck around, I'm going to share my three tips that you must do when you're investing in a high inflation time. Number one is companies that have the ability to increase their price easily. The best example of this is Netflix. I think everyone just got the email that Netflix is going to be increasing their monthly subscription account on the cost of that. This is definitely a, a green light in terms of what you might be looking for in terms of investing. Tip number two, what to do when investing in high inflation times is stick to the people that control those interest rates. The major banks are always great returns during high inflation times because they dictate exactly what those interest rates are going to be. And putting your money there is a safe bet in terms of what the future is going to provide because they also always pay a dividend. And tip number three is the investment must have a moat. So going back to my Walmart example from earlier, you want to invest in companies in high inflation times that dominate their market that don't have a lot of competition and that they're going to be able to keep making the same earnings no matter what period of time they are in the economy. Thanks everyone for continuing to watch this far. I love talking about investing in business and I dedicate my whole life to learning these topics. So if you have any questions or need some tips on what to do with your money during this time, drop it in the comments below and I'd love to get back to you.